three, two, one. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Razor from Razor Tube coming at you with some more Rust Council Edition action today. And today's topic, before we get into it, drop that sub and like and hit that notification bell for the most up to date and recent Rust Council news. Now, I want to start off this video by talking about. Before I get into the promise, we call custom service for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Xbox One S X. I just want to say and apologize for not posting that much recently. Uh, the reason for that is because I've just been doing IRL stuff. I've been really busy. And let me tell you, this topic that we're going to talk about today can no longer go unnoticed. And we're going to talk about custom servers. And what does that mean for you as a Rust Council Edition player? What that means is we are looking forward to the up-and-coming, soon-to-be custom servers on the PlayStation and Xbox. Now, what does that mean? Okay. Um, well, it means a ton of things, actually. It means we're going to have solo duo trio servers. We're going to have different types of servers with you know, resource farming rates and whatnot. Before I get into that, let's talk about how we got up into this point. And now I realize I've made a ton, a ton of videos on custom servers. I know you guys are probably super exhausted with hearing about it, but the reason why is because there's been a lot of ups and downs with it recently for the Rust Council edition. Now, point in case, up until this point, we've got electricity, the tech tree, horses. The only thing we're missing now is custom servers. The reason why this is a hot ticket item is because for those of you who are new to the channel, most of the people that have played Rust Council have been wanting it because of the cheating issue that has been going on inside of the Rust Council edition. I can't say that enough. So... What is the cheating that goes on inside of Rust Council? Well, it's not anything that's very intricate, right? It's third-party devices, and basically up until this point, it's been the, you know, Cronus and Strike Pack and the Zen users that have pretty much went in game and blatantly cheated the whole time because the RCE doesn't allow that type of third-party device with a lot of other games, right? So now you have a population of players who want to play legitimately. You have solo players, duos, trios who are sick as zergs going around cheating and just blatantly trying to, you know, ruin the game, which is super annoying. And if that's any of you, you're a piece of garbage. Let me just tell you that ahead of time, because you don't need to cheat in a survival game in order to just play it and have fun, right? If you get clapped, you're going to get clapped even more when when the band waves start coming through and your account gets banned, then you get another one and you realize that you can't cheat anymore. The, the list goes on, okay? This is one of the very many reasons that most of the players are, want Rust Council to have custom dedicated servers, okay? Community servers however you want to take that it is what it is now the question is is we've had this promise of custom servers for a long time we've also gotten a ton of content up until this point so when are the custom servers are going to become available for us well i can tell you this much what the, what day is it we're sitting towards the end of september we got three months left. In a recent dev blog that when custom servers were briefly, briefly covered, what happened was is the dev said custom servers will be in 2023 and it'll be after horses. Horses are now a main branch. It should be full steam ahead when it comes to custom servers, right? So when do I think it's going to be? Honestly, if I had to take my best guess, you're looking at the holiday holiday season come up. The most revenue that's earned for anything, specifically video games, is around the holidays. So you're looking around Christmas time frame, maybe November, maybe early uh, December. So that's when I'm 
speculating that this is going to come out and finally be in our hands. Now, you ask yourself, what do we have available to us when custom servers and what's going to happen to the cheaters? Well, first things first, if it's your server, you run it. You run it the way you, you want to run it. People with these third party devices, if you, if you can point them out, get rid of them. Okay. That's if there's no like, you know, anti cheat or anything put in place, you know, when those actually come out and you know, it, here's the thing, right? You find a dedicated group of friends. You want to get together. You want to play a legitimate rust. You don't got a big server. Well, it just so happens that myself and Jade Monkey will have servers available moving forward once community servers drop on Rust Council, okay? You guys are more than welcome to come join our servers. You know, we're going to have event servers. We're going to have solo servers, duo servers. We're going to have all types of servers. And you know what? We might just have one server that rotates the type of server in which it is. And some of the configurations and some of the admin controls that you're going to get in these types of servers are like no clip, which is flying like this, right? The ability to delete things like that and a slew of other types of controls that you can utilize when you're an admin. So when we do get these servers in the next couple months, or a month, who knows at this point, you need to find a select group of people that you trust that don't abuse admin power that'll help you run your servers. Um, I can tell you this much, myself and Jade Monkey are both admins on our server for PC. Um, and we definitely, when we've had friends on here and had events and we've had the arena, we've got to do a lot of cool things with subs that we that ended up being our friends and subs that have turned into members that have been um, close to us in our inner circle of friends. Uh, there's a ton of utility with the custom servers that are going to be coming out. Now, that'll be events like the oil rig events that you guys were exposed to not too long ago, right? Um, everybody was rushing to the oil rig and they were all trying to get the crate on there, right? And Double Eleven used the data from those events in order to kind of track on what's going on with the audio, okay? It was, it was great. You know, you had the admins flying around. They were spawning stuff in. They were rocketing boats. It was, it was super fun. This is all going to be available to you soon. Now, the reason why we know this leading up to this point is because when you really think about it, custom servers are going to be the moneymaker for not only Double Eleven, but for community server runners themselves. You're going to have a select amount of people that join your server. If you have a good server, you'll enjoy actually genuine rust. It'll be cheater free. And if it's not, you'll be able to kind of see what that threshold is on how you identify a cheater. And it'll be a better gameplay experience for everybody all around. This is why everybody's been asking about custom servers. Everybody's been wondering and commenting on my videos. They're like, hey, why haven't you posted? Hey, what about community servers? What's going on with this? Well, I was, I've was i been able to sit back for a little while and try to understand what the method was when it comes to actually looking at custom servers from Double Eleven standpoint. And what they needed to do is optimize the game. A big issue in the beginning, if you guys are just new to Rust Council, was we didn't have the memory for the game in order to actually run said servers, let alone electricity and a lot of major components that you see today inside of Rust Council. But now we have it. Now that we have it, we can move forward. And with moving forward, there's going to be a very specific timeline where they're going to release these. And there's also going to be a roadmap, right, to what they're going to accomplish with Rust Council for next year. There's other things on the docket like cars, minis, scrap helos, underwater labs, um, the tugboat, 
submarines, a slew of other things that they can do after custom servers are released. But I will tell you this, right? And if you're watching this video right now, I think everybody is exhausted with waiting for this, okay? Including myself. I, I, I'm 110% honest. I like being transparent about it. I'm tired of hearing about servers. Just bring them damn things out, right? But think about the content moving forward, where we've come from the beginning. And I think you guys will realize we're going to see these custom servers very, very soon, right? And that promise that they made us in the beginning, which obviously their roadmap internally has changed over time because due to some of the issues they ran into with putting Rust and porting it over to a console, especially the old gen, has changed. So the good thing is we're going to see them within the next couple of months. Now, there was one piece of information that I'm kind of skeptical about that I seen a little while ago that I'm like, whoa, well, who is it going to be or what's it going to be? And what do I mean by that? Um, what that means is who's going to be running the servers? Is it going to be in-house with Double Eleven, Or is it going to be ran by a third-party um, company that Double Eleven pays to do it? Now, what do I mean by that? Um, you're looking at like Nitrato and other uh, gaming server companies that we could rent them from, but I don't see that happening. I would assume that Double Eleven might have somebody come in and actually configure the servers and set it up for them in house and then, you know, release them. Or, or you're going to get one of the big names like Nitrato or. Um, whoever else is in the market right now to come in and just be like, okay, we'll pay you X amount of money a year to house these servers. Have a good one, right? Now, as far as cost goes, I don't know. You're probably looking at like 20 to $30 USD a month for these bad boys. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's pretty reasonable considering the fact if you have a big population on your server and your server's always popping, you know, it's it's worth it, right? I think so. Maybe. It might be even less for all I know. I don't know what servers really cost nowadays um, when it comes to, like, Rust. I would imagine it's cheaper than more expensive due to, you know, the population of the game and the, the popularity of the game itself. I, don't, I think it'd be a little bit cheaper. Usually it'd be the other way around. The more popular the game gets, the more expensive stuff gets, but... I, I don't see that happening. I think you're going to get a, ch a cheap, very good experience when it comes to the custom servers. Now, as far as questions, in the comment section below, what are your questions for Double Eleven? Okay, when it, in regards to custom servers, solos, duos, trios, uh, different farming rate, resource rates, um, event servers, admin controls. Let me know what you want to know in the comment section below, and I'll do the best of my ability to answer those questions. Now, or you could just have some criticism about it and how long it's taken. Be honest. We want to hear from you guys. We want to know what's going on in the community. Um, this is one of those videos where it's like you reach out to us, and then we can see where this goes, right? We know Double Eleven watches the videos. You know, the devs and all the guys there are... Um, you know, working diligently to get this out. Let's just hope that there isn't anything between us and custom servers now, like a release of some type of content or some BS that gets in the way of custom servers. Because, I mean, I'm going to be honest, and I'm speaking as one of the players for Rust Council. Um, if custom servers don't come out this year, it is going to be severely defeating for most of the people who play the game. I'm not saying that because I'm like, oh, you better let you release the servers or a lot of people are quit. I'm just saying from my perspective, the amount that I have played and how much I want to see it out, I know that there is a huge amount of people that want to come out and actually see this released so they can create their own game experience with the game they like playing without 
the cheaters or without having to follow normal default server rules, right? So that's just something to think about, something to chew on a little bit. I know we've all been chewing on it for uh, two years now. And it, for most people, I know it's not going to be too little too late. But for some, I feel like if they don't come out by the end of the year, they might migrate to another game. They might play something else. They might have already given up on it. For me, I love Rust, and I will always play this game. Um, it's it's just ingrained in me. The experience, the survival aspect, the community has always been really great to play with, regardless of how much you hate that guy that raided you next door when you only had two rocks and a hammer. But hey, that guy, at the end of the day, you're like, you SOB, I'll see you, I'll see you next wave. You know? So, all right. I've blabbed my mouth a little bit too much, but I've been gone for a while, at least three weeks, and I figured I'd share what I was thinking. Hopefully you guys feel the same. If not, let me know in the, the comment section below, baby. Let's get that fire going. Let's get in some wipes. Let's, let's dominate. All right? Well, I will see you the new wipe this week. I kind of started that last, last week and was like, okay, well, you know what? We got raided a little bit and uh i'll come back so as always i enjoy doing content for you guys i appreciate all your guys support i will see you next video and hopefully that promise comes true with custom servers in the next couple of months bye Oops. Oops. double 11. give me some of them weapon racks right now they're not hard to put in the game baby I want some of them weapon wrecks. Yeah, pickles. See ya. Get out of my video, loser.